The United States Vice President Kamala Harris has visited Ghana and her visit did not shy away from igniting the controversy surrounding the gay bill in front of the Ghana Parliament. She also asserted her effort and her government effort to support gay activities and gay rights around the world. Uh, thank you both for taking the time. Zolan Kano Youngs from the New York Times. Uh, Madam Vice President, you have made clear that the message of this trip is centered on a collaborative future. Um, at the same time, the Biden administration committed to calling out any foreign government that advanced anti-gay legislation or violates human rights. All three of the countries that you are visiting on this trip have advanced anti-gay, advanced or proposed uh, anti-gay legislation. Ghana has proposed a bill that would imprison those that engage in same-sex intercourse. Gay sex remains a crime in Tanzania, and same-sex relationships are outlaw outlawed in Zambia. What have you said to the president and plan to say to other leaders on this trip about this crackdown on human rights? I have raised this issue. And let me be clear about where we stand. First of all, for the American press who are here, you know that a great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people, and that all people be treated equally. I will also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider, and I consider, to be a human rights issue, and that will not change. Her comments seem to have provoked the Ghanaian Speaker of Parliament, who opposed it vehemently and blamed the President of Ghana for not standing upright or defending the Ghanaian stance on the matter. I was so happy when I read that Pope Francis directed that no reverend father should celebrate over a gay or lesbian marriage. <laughs> and I said, Roma Locuta complete. Causa Finita. Yes, Rome has spoken and the matter is ended. So please, committee members that will refer the bill to, we want the report. Don't be intimidated by any person. Hallelujah. I made this statement when I was a member of the European Parliament. European ACP Parliament in Brussels. Now we have two of our members who happen to be leading our committee, Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, who are handling the bill. And since we referred it to them up to date, we have not heard anything. I've reminded him many times on the floor of the House. What are the challenges you are meeting? Report to us. If you take action against them, say, oh, because I'm MPP. That's why he's taking action against me. Ah, I'm NDC. Because he's taking action against me. Because he's not in my party. That kind of division, that is not the purpose of politics. Politics is meant to unite us. Diversity is natural. There's nothing you can do about it. That is creation. And that is the spice of life. How come we are using that to divide ourselves? Please, let the report flow. We need to legislate. Our friends just passed their law in Uganda. We may not go the way they have gone because our constitution is very clear as to the direction we should move. And so we'll be guided by that. Because if we pass any law against the constitution, it's unconstitutional. So we have to do that. And so what are you afraid of? If you have the whole people behind you, if God is with you, who can be against you? And if God says, please, go 
into the wilderness, multiply and fill the world. That is God giving you that command. If somebody says, please, don't multiply. How can that person be strong? I don't only speak this way in Ghana. Even at the last meeting we attended in IPU at Bahrain, anybody who listened to my speech, they were sentences on this matter. Luckily, maybe because it's a Muslim country, they applauded me. <laughs> <laughs> if they're somewhere else, they will be asking questions. As the vice president just did, is it yesterday? I mean, these things should not be tolerated. That is undemocratic. What is democracy? That somebody else will have to dictate to me as to what is good and what is bad? Unheard of. Because we have decided to devalue ourselves and go a begging? Come on. We have more than enough God has created more than enough for every person. It's just because you are looking at somebody else's share, not yours. We have enough in the world. The bill will be passed. <laughs> this is the word to His Excellency the President. There is no way he can intervene. That answer he gave. That is now before Parliament. And when he gets to a stage that he has to, he will come in. Hey, please. This is legislation. This is not execution. <laughs> Wait until we pass it and then we direct you to execute it. That is why you come in. That is why we are representatives of the people. So in terms of law, which is part of policy, we finalize it. And then... The executive now have the authority to implement it, to execute it. Let's get this clear. Once this bill is before here, he is not in charge. I am in charge. He therefore stressed the need for Ghana to hold dear to its culture and values and also defended the Ghanaian beliefs and Ghanaian. He is going to do all that he can to support the law in to support the bill in parliament so that it gets passed and stress that the president have no choice but to sign into law when the bill is in front of the president